Hello everyone, welcome to Shadow of Judgment. It's that time again, kids. Prepare thine sills. For anyone who's new, what is Shadow of Judgment? This is where we go over the weeks. Little subconscious, sadly sides. The things you might not know about. The things that might be in secret. What's going on in all the circles. In all four corners. Boop your nose, right? Let's see who we're reading for first. This is for the week of the 16th to... The 23rd? Six plus, yeah, the 23rd. So, this is going all the way to the 23rd, y'all. Water signs, you're up first. You got a wish for them with the nine of cups. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Won't work if you don't believe in it. Or maybe it will. Might surprise you. You never really know. Anyway, if you also want a personal reading, my information's down below. Along with my Facebook and my Instagram, but I usually prefer my email. Fresh readings on the house, but everything else comes with the price. And of course, I do like tips and donations. Thank you in advance. Cancer, you have Six of Cups reverse. You're trying to move on from something from the past into a new future setting. You might be trying to start something new. You also have the Emperor right here, too, who is looking over at shit like he's all cranky. This is like when you were young. This is when you're old, and you're just like, you know what, that time just really just, mm, something to do with an empress, and you're looking at her, too. It's just like, mm, could be counterpart, right? You don't have to be male. You don't have to be female, either. You'd be a rock for all I care. Um, but this would be somebody you consider your match. What? Or, yeah, my husband said you could also be Martian bacteria. That's true, too. Martians need love, too, even if they are germs. <laughs> but there's something, but there, it's like, this is your match, and she's just focused on the present while you're looking back at her, like, this bitch over here. Mm. Now, you're moving off in this situation because it's like the lover's reverse. Either somebody made a choice. Could be with a Gemini, right? Might have had a bad judgment call. Someone got left, she might have got left out in the call. Six pentacles. Four of wands. Strength reverse Leo's card. Happy ending. And not so happy coupling. Mmm. Yeah, wow. This is like. You ever watch that movie? Um, what was it called? I think it was called Sliding Doors. Where it was like, this chick went through two possible scenarios, depending on whether or not she made it to the door or not, right? And then, you know, I think the original story, she didn't make it home in time to catch her boyfriend cheating, but in the alternate universe, she made it through the door, made it home on time to catch her boyfriend cheating or some shit like that. I can't remember which one's right. But either way, it ended up with her, like, losing her pregnancy. One, she ended up dying. The other one, she stayed alive. But she ended up with the guy she was originally going to get with anyway. And it was, like, actually beautiful. Because it was like, oh, they were going to end up together regardless. So that was kind of cool. But it's, but it's, it kind of reminds me of that. It's like, something happened to where, like... It went from this to this. Could have been dealing with a Capricorn, possibly, or a Leo, a Gemini, Aries, a Taurus, Libra. I know those signs, right? But it's like there is a relationship that you're very fond of that you have to move away from. It caused a great separation. And that's because there was a need for balance in order for everybody to be happy. It could have been dealing with this um, Empress person, right? who felt left out in the cold and she had to restrict herself because how she saw the relationship was toxic or bad or just very negative for both of you like somebody was demanding too much the male figure so it could also be this emperor person mind you cross watchers switch where you need to same with the actual sign because you could be cross watching even though this is your sign so keep that in mind right and i just shuffle and drop three cards for some reason Mm. 
Yeah, like somebody was on the lookout or was saying it was being really nasty, like smear campaign, flying monkeys, having people uh, do shady shit, acting like a spy for sabotage. Because I guess they weren't given any love by this person who was happy by themselves, satisfied, franchised in their own identity or whatever. So it sent someone in a fucking rage to be like, I'm going to be immature and say horrible things about them. You know, I, I, which, you know, could be the air sign in this, right? But it also could be you, Cancer. But I don't know. It's like, um, with this shadow, this emperor person, and mind you, this is all about something early in the past, like childhood, and he's the one who's looking at all of this over here, but he's not a, uh, but I feel like he's not seeing this down here. He had a bad judgment call about a marriage, probably between him and this empress or maybe he thought the door was open for the possibility of the relationship whereas she over here fell left out in the cold and was like nah -uh. you put me in a bad situation you bring the devil out in both of us almost what is up with this um devil card anyway why was this bad dude dude Queen of Wands, okay, so that air sign could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, right? Might have saw that there wasn't any movement in this when it came to the actual, um, ah, Jesus, relationship. They probably saw you as a fucking psycho, actually. I'm not reading all of those, but I'll read these ones. This is short. Um, the relationship, yeah, it was kind of like someone was asking for too much, particularly the dude, and the chick just looked all begrudging, like, really, you need more? How much more do you need? You know, and then the wheels started turning, so somebody left, even though their cups were full. Um, and mainly because they didn't want to return back to this person who had been playing games with them. Like, they walked away. Um, the love's still there, but they're so focused on these three cups that were knocked over, it's just kind of like, how can I return back to this person? Like, I'm literally walking back, still seeing how the shit went. Whoever this is, Cancer. But, that's your shadow for this week, so... I hope y'all are going to be alright, like, because that looks terrible. And sad. Alright, Scorpio, it's your turn. Let's see what your shadow is, shall we? Hopefully yours is like isn't that much down. Okay, so let's see. Scorpio, what do we have for you? First card, you got the Emperor. Old looking gray, looking back at stuff from the past, being like, I already know how to do all of this shit. And it's kind of like your experience with the Emperor, you already know how to rule correctly, but it's also like, you kind of want to make an offer somewhere. Something that involves in between, um, for you to lovers reverse as well. Is it going to be one of those? Is everyone just breaking up with each other this week? Because that'd be fucked up. But there is a separation, or maybe somebody had to choose between this Emperor or this Knight of Pentacles, one of the two, right? Uh, there is a relationship in this, but of course there is also a third party situation that led to a breakup. Hmm, Leap of Faith is being asked. Yeah, this Emperor might be a little bit cranky. This might have ended all funky. Someone's still trying... <laughs> What the hell? Okay. Yeah, okay. Someone's still trying to uh, make something happen. Someone wants to make something happen, and somebody's very well with their monies and shit, right? Like, hmm. Alright, Scorpio. Your shadow, right? Now that I'm looking at this. This emperor is looking back on, like, a relationship that, like, he once had. Could be you, could be your cross-watcher, whoever the fuck it is, right? And completely going into harsh, I'm an asshole mode. Most likely Libra, but also Gemini or Aquarius for you as well. This person has a very nasty attitude, and, like, normally, like, King of Swords is, like, calls it as he sees it, very open with information, but this guy is kind of, like, keeping shit to himself. He, like, I mean... 
I think if you ask him, he would probably give you the answer, but he'd also try to make you cry or make you feel uncomfortable or intimidated at some point, because air signs can be really cutthroat when they want to be. Just because, like, they just have that tendency. I don't know why. But it's like... There was a separation of lovers, and somebody wants to take a leap of faith in order to try to stick around with this king of swords, even become the booty man. Knight of Wands could be... An, fire sign definitely could be Aries in this but also um Leo or Sagittarius right so you could be de dealing with somebody who wants to just run in there and be like you know like hey um let me see them cheeks clap you know just a little bit now there is a knight of wands who wants to deliver something but it's like I almost want to say it's a temptation with the three of cups right here reversed because it's like a third party situation leading to a breakup that left the world all wonky but then we got the king of pentacles right here or something's doing fine financially all on their own like you know he's kind of smug stuck on his stuff yes easily could be Taurus to me also Virgo or Capricorn but it's like he's stuck on his stuff he's pretty successful I want to feel like kind of airheaded though just a little bit. They're probably just a little bit airheaded, but you know. It's like someone wants to offer. I don't know. It's like they. Okay, it's weird. One way I'm saying it, Scorpio. It's like um, this person wants to offer, hey, here's another person you can get with. Get with them. I don't care how messed up it is. I'm going to go make my money somewhere else. Or maybe this person's offering information or something valuable about this third party. It also could be they might be making an offer that'll lead to overindulgences, uh, vices, addiction, stuff like that. Which might cause the world to be wonky. But somehow that makes them the king of pentacles, so I don't know. What's up with him, anyway? What is up with this king of pentacles, y'all? person of commitment so definitely could be a Taurus they don't want to offer their love <laughs> just straight up they no apologies because they don't want to face the tower they just want to go they don't care where it is they just want to take off and go um, and here is the Queen of Pentacles and marriage they want, I think they want to be with another person who they think is actually their counterpart could also be Capricorn right here because this is her court card but also Taurus and um, Virgo right here. So it's it's definitely an earth sign you're probably dealing with for sure. But it's like she wants a divorce or she wants to just get with somebody else. She wants to just turn her back to this marriage right here. Definitely could be Gemini as well. Uh, Scorpio. But that's what I see for your week so far. Damn. Someone's out giving you a replacement spouse so they can leave. I have to say, Scorpio, I don't know how you do it, but you do it. <laughs> All right, Pisces, it's your turn. All right. Let's see. Ah, Pisces. Well, you have your guard up, but like from the readings I've been doing for you guys, you kind of need to. I'm just putting that out there. Because uh, you might be dealing with a Scorpio, but you also feel like things aren't ending the way that they should be. And that's making a burden last longer than what you want it to. Might not be happy with the situation as well. You're guarding against what'll make you unhappy. Um, won't, won't be coming to an end to someone's sneaky nature and their um, quick apologies, I feel like. Like they're sneaking away, trying to watch stuff, you know... Or you're trying to escape a death scenario, one of the two, or escape something that won't die. Yeah, just everything fell on the floor. You know, so you're looking at your options right now, and like someone might be, those options might lead to someone offering you a cup or so. You know, something to do with commitment. King of Pentacles reverse right there. Alright, so this one's gonna be separate, but I got other cards to read. Then we get the Knight of Wands reverse. 
once again. All right. So something isn't starting up, and you know this based, based on your intuition. This could also be you, Pisces, since the High Priestess could also be uh, your card as well. Um, there are certain things that cannot be gotten over despite the fact that there is love trying to be given here. And you're probably the one trying to give that love. Regardless, right? You've got your guard up. Because either you're not happy or you're afraid of the unhappiness that's coming to you. And all you want is someone to... All you want is someone to just give you a little bit of love. Just make you feel like you're welcomed and adored. Or maybe you're just waiting for an apology. Even though, um... It seems like someone does apologize, but it's like they never mean it. Especially with the death card right above it. It's just like, this shit's never gonna end, but I'll apologize anyway just to keep us together. You know? And it's becoming a burden, and now it's kind of like you're trying to figure out options when it comes to a King of Pentacles. Reverse. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Really doesn't matter, though. They're kind of a mooch. Or they think that they're owed something. Which is resulting in, like, someone running away from this cup. Or just not moving anywhere towards this King of Pentacles reverse. Whichever way you want to look at it, you know? Like, they need the cup offered before they'll make movement anywhere. Easily could be Leo Sag Aries. And Leo's card's already up here, too. So let's see. Yeah, a relationship broke down somewhere for you guys because somebody betrayed another person. That's always nice. Not really. That was sarcasm. Um, made them feel disenfranchised with themselves. Maybe they were left broke without anything to aid or help them. You're trying to manifest something. And it's probably trying to open a door somewhere. Maybe open another partnership with somebody else. Possibly Gemini as well. You know? <clears throat> Okay, I'm glad she saw my message. I don't, I don't know what you want me to do with that. So, sorry, I had to look at my phone real quick. But yeah, it looks like Pisces, like, I think that, like, whoever you're dealing with, you recognize, especially over in this part, that uh, no matter what they say, they're always sneaking back to do the sneaky shit. They're just like, you know, I'm sorry, and then they scatter all the way over here. You know, I didn't mean to do any of that shit. Let me go back to the bar, you know. But then they want to come up with commitment. Uh, Taurus's card, too. And Taurus could easily be over here with the King of Pentacles. It's like they're trying to keep you in a cycle, knowing that, um, well, it's not really going to help anything. But, Water Signs, that was your reading for the week. So, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it, but no pressure, of course. You guys have a wonderful time, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.